we all have our own ideas of what we feel is like our trouble areas or what we feel you know insecure about um and there's just no room for it because everyone's just butt naked you know <laughs> like <laughs> it is what it is so you just yeah those thoughts kind of go away when you're in the moment there's no judgment and it's just you know we're here for the art Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. Why don't you tell us who you are and what you do and all that stuff? Sure. Um, my name is Natasha Markwake. I am originally from Denmark. I moved to New York about seven years ago to pursue my career as a dancer, as a professional dancer. So that is what I'm doing right now, working as a full-time dancer, choreographer. Yeah. Um, what do you? What's it like to get body painted? What's it feel like? What do you um, wish people knew about it? When I really got into body painting, one of the reasons I really wanted to explore that world was actually to do with my own comfortability because I've always been kind of shy about my body and didn't really want to show it, and that doesn't really work in the dancer world, especially when you go to auditions, and sometimes as a female, they basically have you in underwear, you know, like... Basically. Basically. So um, it was also a challenge just for myself that I really wanted to get into, you know, being comfortable with being technically naked in front of a whole lot of strangers, and then on top of it, being painted. <laughs> um <laughs> real up so, close and personal. Yeah, so um, it was a personal challenge, but I luckily surprised myself on how comfortable I felt in the space, mostly because you make it into a safe space, mm -hmm. um, and you make sure that everyone feels comfortable and they're okay, and you ask, obviously, all the time if you, know, you want to go on live or if you want to be photographed or whatever in between the scenes. Um, yeah, for sure. You make sure that everyone feels safe and comfortable, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've only worked with an, one other artist besides you regarding body paint. Um, but, you know, it's it's cold. <laughs> That's how it feels. Yeah, for sure. It's cold. Um, Especially the airbrush. Right, and it takes, you know... I screamed it's the first long. time I got airbrushed. Right. On my back. I was like, yeah! Right, People it's have cold. to feel this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's it. Yeah, it gets there. It's also just mentally a different kind of challenge that you have to be okay with walking around kind of naked all day and just waiting and right yeah it's more than just like the process of getting painted before you perform there's definitely that like don't mess up the painting right period. because then we got to do it all think over about again. that right yeah because you think once you've the been painted on. you can just put on you know cover up and sit on your phone a book or whatever the rest of the day and wait for everyone else to get done and that's just not the case <laughs> it sure is not <laughs> you can sit with your book but you gotta stand you know so. yeah you gotta lean gotta get right. really good at leaning right you gotta find those <laughs> weird awkward moments where you can like find yeah. comfortability yeah for sure awesome and how did you meet me how did that happen I how did i get you. so lucky i know <laughs> I, I get so lucky um it was a friend of mine who, I don't even remember who she was working for, but she was working for a company that set up the audition for your car, the automobile for the Japanese TV show, um, who basically just hit me up and was like, there's this audition, you should try to go to it. I was like, all right. And I was brand new in New York, so same. anything <laughs> for me was like, yes, let me try. Yeah. Um, so I remember going to the audition, you had us all like try out all these poses and try with different people the same pose because you were basically, I guess, just trying to see who fit whom and what fit your vision. And you booked me. Which part were you? I was the wheel. Yeah, you were. Yes. <laughs> you and Dara. <laughs> solid Dara. wheels. Yes, <laughs> we were the solid ones. Yeah, um, and we had quite a long day. So a little bit more like in regards to your own body image issues and like mm -hmm. kind of like what you're processing while you're getting body painted. Like, can you tell me a little bit more about what you're what what you're dealing with in your own body in those moments? Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I I guess 
I just, as long as I have a thong on or as long as I have, like, I have done the full naked with you, for mm-hmm. sure. Um, but I feel, I definitely feel more comfortable with as long as I'm wearing a thong or, like, underwear, then I'm, then the rest I'm getting more and more comfortable with just being, like, okay, that's what it is. Um, but, you know, we all have our own ideas of what we feel is, like, our trouble areas or what we feel, you know, insecure about, um... And there's just no room for it because everyone's just butt naked, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> it is what it is. So you just yeah. those thoughts kind of go away when you're in the moment. Like they mm-hmm. might appear right before you walk into it. But as soon as we're in that room and we're painting and there's like 10 other guys or females being butt naked, too, and being body painted, like there is no those thoughts don't really come into your head. Yeah. In the process. Like, yeah. Because you feel comfortable and it's like, right. oh, we're all here doing the same thing and no one's perfect and mm-hmm. there's no judgment and it's just, you know, we're here for the art. Yeah. I've had a lot of people like come at, at me and be like, almost like, like this is a nudist sort of a deal. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, no, because I've been to like nudist beaches right. or colonies or whatever to body paint before, or I've been nude myself at those places. Right. And I feel like people are still scoping each other out a little bit. And, yeah. like, there's still this, like, curiosity. Whereas with body paint, when people are nude, like, I don't feel that. I just right. feel like there really is that, like, right. level of acceptance among the team. Right. There's, like, this. And it's it's more than that. It's about, like, functionality. Like, right. what each person is so different. Right. And what they're capable of doing. Right, right. Their body shapes are all so different. Right. And there's a reason so. you chose those body types because it's yeah. supposed to fit the picture that you're creating. So how has body paint changed your perspective? Like, of yourself, of your body, or of the world? Like, how do you... How Have you noticed any changes at all? Um, I'm definitely, obviously, more confident now regarding I've been so many times naked but naked in front of strangers even at the automobile show that we did um, Mm -hmm. where I was technically dancing in a thong body painted but you know I was naked in front of all these hundreds of people just walking around me and you know taking photos (laughs) (laughs) you know (laughs) Um, yeah no I definitely feel more comfortable about it about myself Um, I mean, but at the end of the day, I'm still in the dance world, so I'm always being challenged with, you know, being told or being shown that, you know, either this doesn't work or you're not thin enough, you're not tall enough, you're not, you don't have enough booty, you don't, you know, like, we're constantly being judged in that world, so I'm still dealing with a lot of those kind of like struggles regarding my own body Mm -hmm. but that's more because of the world that I work in yeah regarding the body paint that has definitely just helped me feel more liberated Mm -hmm. um regarding being okay with myself and feeling completely fine and know that you know that is just some commercial bs that is you know being put into my head and that has nothing to do with me as a woman and me being comfortable in my own skin and as a human being and yeah there's no flaws how do you approach choreography because you've been doing some choreography for the team well i'm very much into you know the old school like i grew up with dance um being more from the 80s the 90s the 2000s early 2000s so a lot of my movement is based off that foundation um but regarding choreography just in general you know, I'm giving a task, I'm given, you know, what kind of vision the person wants. Um, and especially when you wanted to do the Studio 54, you know, you the client wanted a more like disco, more a Studio 54-ish, you know, energy. So, um, yeah, I just, I just freestyle usually to a song that I'm really feeling. And mm-hmm. if that, you know, speaks to me, then real quick, I'll just create something fun out of it. And then whoever I'm working with and show them if it's to see if it works on their body and when we dance together or if I'm just giving it to other people, um, see what works once we're in that creative space. As a human canvas, how do you help contribute to the artwork? Um, I think it's just, you know, it's just such a different type of creating art 
and I feel like a lot of boundaries are being crossed、mm-hmm. in what the regular human being would see, you know, either comfortable or see as art.、Um, and I think you've definitely helped open eyes on a lot of open, you know, people's minds on. Um, what art should be and what it shouldn't be.、Mm. Um, because you have explored the fact that human beings, we are art in ourselves and we have our own、mm-hmm. stories to tell and we all you know, have something to give. And you've just made it possible to be, bring people together in their most vulnerable state and make them feel comfortable and help tell a story、mm. through what you want to show. 